the biggest thing for me is to maintain respect for this country and the ancestors and the people of this land. And so for me, I would be violating my cultural laws to come here and create music that doesn't in some shape or form acknowledge that first and foremost. Australia does not exist. I've been based in Kulon Nation's land for a couple of years now. I've been playing music for a very long time in terms of how I perceive my music um, to have a role within my life. I see it as a cultural responsibility. In my own experience, I feel that there is quite a significant gap between Indigenous and non-Indigenous artists. I do respect that there's a lot of goodwill out there at the moment and people are trying to, you know, attain a certain level of respect, but it still feels like it's quite a way off to even reaching what would be an acceptable baseline level of Indigenous representation. The impulse that for me it comes from my ancestors to continue to um, practice culture in some kind of a way. Um, certainly for me music is the way that I'm very drawn to more than others. I do hope that people walk away from my music feeling moved and ultimately having a greater awareness of indigeneity and its importance in this country. And hopefully, you know, people will feel that it comes from a place of love um, and compassion, even if it's wrapped in a message that isn't quite um, seen as such. That's what, you know, I've always been taught as an, an Indigenous man who was um, raised by his mother is just give. People should be aware of Indigenous law and try to pay some respect to it. And at the end of the day, hopefully that leads to a genuine sense of community. Um, a sense of community that's going to last for thousands of more years. Hush, don't make a sound, nothing but savages. We'll show them how they're supposed to live and if they don't assimilate, I guess we'll have to demonstrate our superiority in every single way and remind them how